So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a super long stiletto Christmas glitter 3D nail art acrylic design set. So I've applied my Glitter Planet pre-pinched tips after doing all my natural nail prep work uh, and then come in with CJP Crystal Glass as a thin base layer to all the nails. Uh, you can get 10% off uh, Glitter Planet products on their website with my discount code PILGRIM10. I absolutely love these tips. Once you get used to working with them, because they are quite different to normal tips, they are amazing. So slim and slender. I love the, the pre-pinched design. So for the first nail, I'm doing a pink and white design. This is going to be a base for a 3D um, Santa. So I apply CJP Birthday Sue in the reverse method, just patting and pressing that product into place and then coming in and just neatening up my smile line. You do need that wall there to butt your white up to. So yeah, you need that wall needs to go all the way around that pink. Uh, the smile line doesn't need to be too crisp because it is going to be covered with some 3D nail art so don't worry too much about that on this particular design. I then apply my cuticle bead so I make sure I'm building my apex with this um, powder. Obviously on nails of this length you really do need to make sure your apex is in the right place. You need a lot of structure there otherwise the nails will just snap off. Um, so just apply product where needed. Keep checking the nail from all angles to make sure your apex is in the right place. Don't forget you can keep going in and adding more where needed. So then coming on to the little thing, no, the ring finger. Uh, I apply CJP 18K Gold. This is going to be a base for some more Christmassy glitters. Absolutely loved doing this set. It's the first set I've done uh, that are Christmas designed. Um, the client really did push me out of my comfort zone. Not with the glitters, but when it comes to the, the 3D nail art, because I really don't do a lot of it at all. Those that follow my channel will know I don't often do it. I think I've only done it once on one of my videos. Um, so yeah, CJP 18K Gold, just picking up small beads of it um, and just applying that. And then I come in with a glitter from Glitterati. It was from the stack um, Christmas Carol. I have had these a couple of years though, so I don't know if they do stock them anymore. Uh, but they are... There's a stack of about five different colours. They're gorgeous. And then I come in with some glitter strands, also from the same stack. Just applying these glitters really, really thin. So just picking up the tiniest bead of crystal glass to pick up the glitters because you don't want to be adding too much bulk at this stage because you will be building all that structure, your apex and your strength with crystal glass. So I then come in with cjp snow white for my smile line this will be the santa's beard um i haven't filed the smile line like i normally would because it doesn't need to be so crisp for this particular design so i get the first lot of white on there just to fill that gap push it right around your side walls then come in and build up that structure just want to quickly add that CJP International Shipping is finally here. Uh, it's just for America for the time being. Other countries will be adding next week. Um, and it's just no liquids at the moment until next week. So head over to the CJP website tonight and that will be launched. So people in America, go and buy it.
Then come in and cap this whole nail in crystal glass. I'm using my big boy brush so it does allow me to pick up really big beads of clear. Um, so I apply it at the cuticle, tilt the client's finger down so gravity naturally takes that product away from the skin. Uh, and then just pull the product down with the belly of my brush. Again, pulling it, making sure you're going from side to side, especially if you are using these tips. Because they've got such a deep C curve, you really need to make sure you, you get those side walls as well. Um, and add any more product um, where needed to build up your apex and your structure. On this nail, I'm doing a glitter fade, so I apply CJP Birthday Suit with the cuticle, getting your brush right behind that bead and then blending it into that tip. Uh, then come in and apply just a little bit more Birthday Suit just to cover the natural nail um, line that you can see. So just again blend that into the first bead and into the tip. I then come in with some Christmassy red glitter. Uh, I've also used another stack from Glitterati, the Autumn Stack. Uh, this was from the Autumn Stacker. Um, just a really nice chunky mixed red glitter. Again, applying that with really small beads of crystal glass. And then just coming in with a green and red mix. This is also from Glitterati. Um, just really, again, like I say, using really small beads, pushing and patting that glitter exactly where you want it. Move on to the first finger. I will come back and cap the little finger. I just want the glitter to set in place a bit. So on this nail, I'm coming in with CJP 18K gold again. I just wanted to do a really random mix of all the different glitters. Uh, so every nail was different, uh, but all using the same, the same few glitters. Uh, so I just, again, apply that really thin, then come in with the red glitter again from the Glitterati Autumn Stack. Like I said, I have had these a couple of years. I hope they do stock them because they're absolutely stunning and perfect for Christmas and autumn. Uh, and then just keep adding little bits of glitter, different mixes. They're all from Glitterati, these glitters. Um, some of them have got more chunky pieces in. Uh, so I just apply a little bit of crystal glass just as a really thin wash just for the chunkier glitter to, to stick onto. I will then cap both of these nails in crystal glass. Again, like I've said before, when you're doing nails of this length, you really need to make sure you've got a really good structure there. Otherwise, they will just snap. They won't last your client at all.
So on this nail, I'm doing a sort of diagonal glitter ombre fade sort of thing. So first of all, coming in at the cuticle with CJP 18K gold, um, just fading that into the tip, just pushing and placing it right into that cuticle area. Again, working with really small beads so you can place it exactly where you want it. Then come in with that Christmassy red again, applying it up to the gold and sort of blending it over the gold just so it fades nicely. You don't want no harsh lines when you're doing this sort of design. You want them to sort of blend and fade into one another. Um, so do the same all the way to the tip, coming in then with the more of the Christmassy glitters and the strands. Uh, just fading them into each other and then capping the whole nail in crystal glass. I didn't record the second hand in full because it was just a mixture of all the same glitters but I just wanted to show you this nail uh, which is a base for a 3D snowman which I will say now again it didn't pick up I don't know what's wrong with my phone um, but you'll see the picture at the end it's fairly easy uh, but I just wanted to show you this gorgeous sort of Christmassy fade so this is the CJP pigment white sparkle I have mixed it in with clear, so it's like using a pre-mixed glitter acrylic. Uh, I just thought I'd show it you because it's a stunning alternative for a Christmassy um, white faded nail. Uh, then just come in with CJP Birthday Suit at the cuticle and just blend that into your glitter. Uh, and when I'm happy with the blend, I will cap this whole nail in crystal glass.
So onto the filing. It is my usual filing technique that I always do. But when you're doing nails of this length, I just slow down my filing slightly. And as you can see, I support the nail with my fingers. If you don't support nails of this length when you're filing them, it will pull on your client's natural nail and it'll be quite painful and uncomfortable for them. So at every stage of your filing, your side walls, your cuticle area, when you're debulking and filing down the barrel of the nail, you just need to make sure you're supporting it at all angles. Um, and because they're long, sometimes you can catch them as you're coming across with your file. But by supporting them, you're taking that away. You'll, you'll not catch, you'll not hurt your client. Uh, and just as you're doing it, just make sure throughout that your client is comfortable. It's not pulling too much or anything. And if it is, then you're not supporting that nail enough. Uh, but as you can see, it's my usual filing technique. Again, you need to make sure you look down the barrel of the nail, look at the nail from all angles to make sure they're nice and even. You've got no bulk on one side. Um, you want a nice, even distribution of your product. Uh, and just make sure your apex is still in the right place. You don't want to file it away. It should be in the back third of the nail. Um, this is where you need most of the structure for a nice, balanced nail that will last your client. Um, so I'll just let you watch a few nails. don't want to bore you too much.
So onto some stamping, I'm using the Melio collection. As you can see, it's the festive number three plate. I'm using the CJS white polish. So as you can see, I apply it really quick, scrape that excess off, pick up with my clear jelly stamper, and then straight onto the nail, just sort of roll it on nice and quick. Just a light pressure, you don't need to press on firm with this jelly stamper. And because these nails are super long, I just apply a bit more at the tip just to fill that design in. Again, the exact same technique this is the same play but just a reindeer design um, I do highly recommend these CJS gel polishes they are from nail dot supplies which is the CJP sister company it also sells the clear jelly stamper I could not stamp before I used this bit of kit it's amazing especially these polishes they're, they're just amazing um, it makes it so easy for you to stamp it just work really quick sort of flick of the wrist motion pick it up this is the main thing with stamping you need to be quick quickly on scrape off pick up and then straight onto the nail just like that and on this one i'm just doing a little snowflake in the corner this again is from the moyo range uh, another festive one but it's a big plate one it's like a scene For the nails with the stamping on, I do double top coat. So I'll apply my first coat of CJP Tech Free Top Gloss and just cure this for 30 seconds. Then come on to the second coat um, and just look at these stunning glitters. Crystal glass has just got amazing, amazing clarity. You just see it even more when you're working with glitters like this that are super shiny. It is amazing. So I apply my CJP Tech Free Top Gloss to all the nails and then cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. So moving on to my little Santa design, this was a real test for me. I'm not one for doing characters or anything like that normally, but this client does tend to push me out of my comfort zone uh, with the designs that she chooses. Um, so I'm coming in first of all for the sort of top of the hat with the gel bottle um, red polish, applying it with my Crystal Nails Barbara brush i then cure that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. I use the Sun UV Sun 6 lamp. It's brilliant. Uh, I just do two little black dots using CGLP black hole gel polish. Um, these are great polishes for painting as well because they're really highly pigmented, as are the gel bottle ones. I'll then come in with C Gel P Pop It, which is a super highly pigmented white polish. Um, it's great for painting. It's also great for pigments and bright colours, things like that. So I'm just using this for the rim of the Santa hat. So once those are all cured, I just wipe over to remove the tacky layer. I then come in with my CJP number no. 2 brush, pick up a bead of Snow White and just place it on the nail in the centre. This is the, the Santa moustache. Um, just shape it into the tash sort of shape. I was following um, a picture that my client had brought in. 
I think it was off a video that was on the Pink Boutique Facebook page. Um, it did have, the original design had a flashing LED nose. Uh, I'd, I have got some of these, but my client didn't want them because it doesn't work with an iPhone. The LED lights only work with a Samsung. Um, so do the exact same on the other side. Just wait for the bead to go slightly matte before you start playing with it and it will go exactly where you want it to so just keep shaping and pulling that acrylic where you want and as you can see at the bottom there there is a little bit of a gap so i just applied a little bit more snow white there just to fill in that gap um, just make it nice and neat i then come in with a small bead of cjp vamp for the little nose again let it go slightly matte before you start playing with it. Uh, but if you've got the ratio right, it shouldn't run all over the nail uh, when you place it on. So with 3D work, you need to make sure you drain your brush um, once you've picked your bead up. So it's a nice consistency for you to work with. So then come in with some more vamp for the, the sort of end of the hat. Um, just a bit of a triangle shape. Just applied it at the cuticle, making sure it's not too bulky at the cuticle. You don't want your client to catch it at all. Um, so just shape that into what you think the tip of a Santa hat should look like. Um, just keep patting and pressing and playing with it and pulling it. Just tidying up around it because it's quite a highly pigmented colour. Um, so then just come in again with a small bead of Snow White just for the tip of the hat. And here's your finished look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Again, you can see the little snowman there. It was pretty easy to do. I'll try and do one though.